Hey guys, Akshan here, and today is going to be a Croesus Duo guide. Duo is actually, in like as far as I know, like in my testing, the best points per hour. It's less kills uh, an hour, obviously, but the drops are pretty rare. It seems as in like there's a lot of drops in the log, so if you want to get the most, you know, if you don't care about the 1,000 KC and just want to get the drops, I would say Duo is your best bet. Uh, it's also very easy to get one other person. Uh, getting four people is kind of annoying, and masses are fine, but I'll be honest, it kind of gets uh, a little bit messy sometimes with people, and it's messing up. So Duo is just very chill and relaxing. It's, if anything, a bit, I would even say, again, more relaxing. So um, we're going to get right into uh, uh, the gear and equipment, but before that, uh, this guide is also uh, pretty much, uh, the points for the Croatia's uh, fight have been mapped out, so I'll, there'll be a link in the description or a text about the points of each node and such uh, to get maximum points. Uh, be sure to look at that as it's really important to get the most out of this boss. Um, so for gear, uh, Aura is, so for duo, I'm doing, for instance, the wood cutting and mining node. Um, my girlfriend Ali, my duo, is going to be doing fishing and hunter. So she's going to be using the fishing Aura. You can also use the hunter Aura, but uh, in my case, I'm going to use master lumberjack Aura. Um, you can use like, uh, I don't know, the mining aura if you want. I don't know if it actually does anything because it's critical chance, but I think it does. Not quite sure, but I use the legendary lumberjack aura in general just because it goes, it works very well with my outfit. So essentially, I also am testing out, this is probably the first skill I'm testing out, is the master construction outfit. It speeds up progress by 3x when it procs. It's the same chance as an artifix measure. It's quite strong, and since I have the legendary lumberjack aura on and a tier 80 offhand as well, uh, you don't fail at the wakening at all, so you don't need nature sensitive outfit if you have the legendary lumberjack outfit plus the uh, not outfit aura and the offhand, which is why I'm utilizing the whole entire construction outfit, which is really nice for speeding up the kill with the statue repairing. Uh, gatherers cape with fishing and mining perk. The mining perk apparently doesn't do anything, so you can just use a 99 fishing cape and it'll be just fine. Uh, Grace of the Elves, this is just extra scaling stuff. This is not important. Ignore this slot. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. Uh, Ring of Whispers, really strong scaling ring. I definitely recommend doing it. It's from Sliske's Endgame. It's really good for all the scaling nodes and speeds up things. So if you haven't done Sliske's Endgame, do do it. Uh, if you don't uh, have this, you can use a Tier 4 Luck Ring or a Pontifex Shadow Ring with the 1000 Anima Bic. A Greater Rune Pouch. Uh, I put soul, body, earth, and fire runes in it to cast crystal mass. It's very good as it blocks the entire hit and allows you to focus on gathering and ignoring mechanics, which is really good. Augmented crystal hatchet. Uh, I'm just wearing this just because I'm doing wood cutting first. I, you don't have to wear it though, so don't worry about it. Um, hone six is the perk on it. it. All my all my tools have hone six on it. Just the highest hone you have just to help with gathering. Um, Santa's uh, Fry Torch is a tier 80 uh, wood cutting offhand, very strong. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just you can use, um, what do you call it? You use the, uh, it's called like Orthen Furnace or something like that. Or you can just wear like an Artifix measure. If you don't have any of those, um, I guess just wear some things for Bladed Dive because those are the only real relevant offhands and the mining one, of course. Uh, Brutes of the Gods, if you don't have Brutes of the Gods, don't worry about it. It's just extra loot. Don't, it doesn't matter at all. It's just, it's put urns in and stuff. I have four different types of uh, pouches for my preset. Uh, beaver, uh, Arctic Bear, Gargoyle, and uh, Lobster, Granite Lobster. Uh, for me, personally, since I'm doing wood cutting and mining, I'm going to be using the mining because I need the mining success, uh, success chance. Uh, wood cutting, the beaver is only plus four, doesn't really matter. The, granite, uh, the Gargoyle gives plus 12 mining, so it helps a lot. Uh, my girlfriend's also going to be using the Arctic Bear because it gives plus 7 compared to plus 4 from the Granite Lobster, which is really nice. Uh, perfect Juju Woodcutting and Perfect Juju Fishing Potion. I'm only going to be doing woodcutting, so I'm not going to bother drinking my uh, fishing potion for the skill as it only matters if we're doing that node. So you can just drink that for the whole hour. Uh, Pompish Shower Ring. I don't actually use the effect of getting less stat drain and less KO potential. I use this uh, just to wear at the end of the kill for the the bigger uh, chest you get then, the little Elder Trove of Bic. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't think the loot actually improves at all, so it's kind of weird, so uh, maybe not bother with it, but I'm just kind of doing it just because, so don't worry about it too much, honestly. Artifacts Measure, this is very strong for repairing statues. Incredibly good, just four times a chance, I think it's a 6% chance to 
uh, four times the repair speed, which is really good. Um, fishing rod automatic with hone six. Uh, this is the only thing that works for fishing. If you use a crystal fishing rod, it will not work. I'm also pretty sure you need to wield the, fi the, the fish rod automatic for it to work. So I'm pretty sure that the your other tools such as the crystal hatchet and the pickaxe you can have in inventory. You need to wear the the rodomatic. You can also use a regular. You don't need to use enhanced. It doesn't matter. You can just use a rodomatic with hone six on, on your. You need to wear it. Uh, and also, if you're doing hunter, you need to wear your butterfly net for it to work as well. So these are the only two that you need to actually wear. The other ones uh, you can just uh, keep in your inventory. But I just do it just for the sake of it, because I, I can just swap to it if I need to anyway. Uh, three restorers. You can probably need uh, less restorers. This allows you to, if you make a mistake, to heal yourself back up to full and, and get your stats back up. It also can be used to skip uh, some mechanics and save time, which is nice. Extreme Hunter Flash 6. This is mostly for the ending or if you're doing Fishing Hunter. It's very strong. Very expensive right now, though, so don't worry about it if uh, you don't have it, honestly. Uh, pickaxe of Earth and Song. Just, again, best pickaxe. Very strong with Hone 6. Um, besides that, uh, what? Oh, so, yeah. Again, with the skilling outfits, I, just Master Construction. If, you're, if, if You can use Nature Sentinel if you have it. You can use Mining. And if you're doing Fishing and Hunter, you can use... If you're doing fishing and hunter and don't own either, uh, both are good. Pro I would probably more skew it towards hunter being better though. It just, just depends on your levels. And again, try to have 99 in all stats as it helps a lot. Um, another thing is my relics. I have the bladed dive, uh, not the the mobile relic. I don't know what's called, but it's the new one that gives you uh, the bladed the mobile effect without having to use the perk. Really strong. And I also have tier four luck ring so I can wear the little pomp and shower ring for my loot. Again, it's not the biggest deal. I would say the mobile thing is more important if you own the off hands, though, so to burn the little fungus that spawns in you. So, uh, honestly, we're pretty much ready. So, we're going to head there right now. And it's going to go great. So, we're going to go to Crisis. You can start instance. We're going to the public instance that no one's in there. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to start a private instance because I'm not dealing with anything today. Um, so, we're going to put it two. Start. And uh, so Fisher would go uh, northeast. The woodcutter, me, would go southwest. You can always use uh, Gorvik to transport and go to whatever. So we'll just go to woodcutting. Um, another thing I forgot to do though is you actually want to bank this stuff, like the hunter potion and the woodcutting potion. So I'm actually just going to drop this stuff. It it's worth nothing anyway. I don't care. Who cares? You're supposed to bank that. Oh, this is for purpose of showing. So um, you need to go over here, and we're gonna blade dive instantly here as soon as we start the kill. We're gonna start the kill now. Go this way. Um, I like to do the regular node first, just because you want to maximize your points. And I'm gonna time uh, the pretty much time the death of where where I want to go. So wait for this little mechanic to happen where it does the arm. So when it does the arms, you can walk away two steps and go back. Here's the bomb. You just keep wood cutting. Next mechanic's gonna be a fairy ring. Just keep wood cutting. Oh, here's the fairy ring. And you just walk away. And here's a little trick, by the way. So, um, I'll show it next. So, there's gonna be a blob that spawns. Uh, crystal crystal shield, uh, mass will actually block it, so don't worry about it. Just keep wood cutting. There's a blob, you can just ignore it. So, here's a cool trick. So, I'm near a, a, a node here, so watch for this, this boss do this little mechanic. So, oh, here comes a bomb. You can go here, wood cut. Get a woodcut and then go back here, and you'll miss no ticks of uh, woodcutting, which is really strong. So we have 16 uh, wood. We're gonna put it in there, and then anticipate because the stun mechanic's happening next. We're gonna start cutting. We're pretty much done with this node, so we can get 15. You can also get 20 fungus if you have the offhand. If you don't have the offhand, I would just finish it now. You just want 10 rotten fungus to rot your corpse. And it's doing the little uh, rotten fungus attack. I didn't get it. My duo did. Keep wood cutting. Our goal is to kill us now. I just want to leave. Next one's going to be a bomb attack. We can walk two squares away. I could also n mine the, the Barak guard for a second. You are clear, Barak, so Poison as soon as it's dead. Mine. Or wood cut. Fairy ring mechanic. Okay, we're done. We're just going to move on to the mole. Okay, dive a little bit. Process weakens and the left deliver here. Time. And we're going to immediately back to mining. Blob spawn, so 
Since the blob spawned, it means that we're gonna get a uh, little smoke cloud mechanic next. So we're gonna wait for that, wait for the arms over here comes, just walk away. Oh, it swapped. Oh yeah, it swaps during certain times. It's the same every time, so I could've just went this way. Next mechanic is gonna be um, the stun. So you wanna anticipate like now even, it's fine. You just chill. We wanna just mine this special node to get the most damage possible, because we actually wanna kill this probably right away, since it's, it was degrading. Tiger statue is not yet restored. Keep fungus going. happen. We're gonna get humanity. We're gonna play dive over here. Oh, I misclicked. I would I missed it like two ticks, three ticks. Oh, middle. We need to go middle. So at 225, the rotten fungus spawns. Um, if someone doesn't get fungus and you instantly blade dive search to us, a person can solo this completely. So um, just note that. Uh, don't think I know if I can show this still, but it is possible to, for some for one person to do the whole mechanic. That gives a ton of points though. So again, first mechanic's gonna be a bomb in a second. You can walk away from it in a sec. So I'm gonna deliver, eh, I'll get 16 just for the sake of, of safety. 60 is a very safe number. It's bombed. Oh, one thing you can do here is, uh, look, oh, my crystal mass is on, crystal mass again. And you can just tank it if you want, It because as long as you, the boss doesn't get to 100%, it doesn't actually matter how much you feed the bosses. Don't lose. Also, ooh, almost got fairy ring help where I was close. But yeah, <laughs> I, was I was talking to him. Well, it's fine. We're gonna keep mining, get the 15. I might also get um, extra fungus as well. We need, we need cr cr crystal mass statue. again. Here comes the blob. It's, it's gonna be a bomb next. You can do the same trick here with mining, where you go between the two nodes and not lose any ticks. If you don't understand the tick, the tick stuff, don't worry about it. It's not that important, honestly. I'm gonna mine from here because I want to slow down a little bit and get max points. Anticipate now. And, uh, to create some fungus, and I hate the hitbox here, honestly. That hitbox is bad. One, two, three. Okay, I have ten fungus. I'm good now. I'm gonna keep mining. Next is gonna be the fungus, but I'm gonna get it for once. I, I just don't get it. The the ball's dead. Great. I'm gonna poison the Leviathan since that's on my way. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, here comes this bomb mechanic soon. Oh, it's not gonna do it, so. I, I, eh, it, it, pretty much I'll just walk across. Doesn't matter though. Go across. Poison. Put that in. Get your fit. Get your uh, fish out. We need then more go over here. Give you a second. Play dive surge. We're gonna deliver the fish fast. The Dagonoth is free of fungus. Depending on times, the timings of things, you don't need to poison everything. Poison everything can be fine though. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna deliver. Uh, I won't. Deliver. I'll deliver the, the other stuff. The duo is pretty much doing the same stuff I'm doing, just kind of in reverse. If someone's like, you know, a bit behind because of bad energy and stuff, uh, don't worry about it too much. Like, just, you know, communicate or just like, oh, see, it. they're like, oh, they're a little bit behind because of bad energy or something or whatever. Activate Crystal Mask whenever. I'm just delivering my stuff to prepare all these statues and we're going to be good to go. That fungus that you go middle in a second now. Destroy it now. Statue. Well, doing the fungus is more important than repairing the statue. You probably just want to do the middle mechanic ASAP. Just get the points and just get it out of the way. Also, the longer you don't do it, uh, the more time it takes for the mechanic to happen again, which can be bad in some cases. So it's repaired. Now you wear your um, artifacts measure and you just repair. Hopefully, you get some procs. Okay, yep, there's some procs. The four X speed. So at this point. Uh, we just kind of need to chill. I have, I'm gonna have two extra fungus. How much fungus are you gonna have, Alex? Like, a little bit? None? Alex? Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, yeah. Ali will, will, will poison the mole. I'll handle the DK if I need to. Next mechanic's gonna be a blobber. Now, Sano will answer our call. I'll deliver the mining. I'll deliver the work So, uh, anticipate now will be good. Is not yet restored. Keep going. Go this way. Go play dive surge again. It's fine. So, again, we're kind of racing as the clock was 7.30. Um, if, if for some reason the kill is a little bit slow, you can, um, I've got some stuff under me. If the kill's a little bit slow, uh, you can actually just only, you, you only need to do three statues. 
and just deliver the fourth one and then go middle. It's not important to repair all four. You only need three repairs. So like right now, let's say like um, we were running really low in time. You could just go and uh, all uh, focus the, whatchamacallit. Yeah, I already poisoned that one. I, you can go and focus the, whatchamacallit, the third statue. Because the, the two statues, you will, you will solo each statue and then you can group up for the last statue. I need to poison the mold out. So like even in this case, like, okay, it's fine. Yeah, so like because we're so fast and like I, I, you know, always DK was last, I actually don't need to poison the Dagnoth King. We only need the mold poison. I, I could even argue, uh, this uh, bomb. Um, you can even argue that you don't even need to poison the mole in this case, but we're gonna do it for safety. I'm gonna half pray this, anticipate, half pray the statue so it's ready. Wait for the middle mechanic. You go poison the mole alley. I think I can solve the mid, so don't worry about it. Don't stress too much. I, although I did get the fungus, so I, you need to come for a, like a pick or two. We have to poison that fast. You need one more. Yeah, I think so. She says she needs nine, so yeah, you just need to mine once and, and then poison them all. Oh good, so you just pray now and just go mid. Now is the time. You only need uh, three statues prayed. Like even though we have all four statues done, praying doesn't get points, so you just, you just wanna just just do three and it'll be good. So we're good. Uh, and so after every tick here, there'll be a little uh, mist that spawns and if the mist spawns, you can get bonus experience. Uh, not, not bonus experience. Uh, bonus damage and points. Green and white is good. Red is bad. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna talk about something, but um, you can also cl honestly you can click every tick blindly. Uh, it, like for instance, oh there I click click, and then oh look it spawned red again. Um, it's if you do it if you do that, that's how you actually get max points in the lobby because now I can't spawn another green or white. So um, but you don't want to do that in duo because that's cutting it close and stuff. I also wouldn't recommend doing that in publics as well, just because well. You're gonna just kind of piss off people, and it's kind of like for like what, like five, six points. So probably don't do that because if everyone did that, would you like it? No. We're gonna put our Pontific Shadow Ring on. The DK is gonna come back alive, and even if it was alive right now, it doesn't matter because clicking on the the green and white particles does true damage. It's a true. It does not get reduced because you need all four corpses to be down uh, to get bonus Trust damage in the boss, and that's literally how you do it. Um, that was a very good kill. That was a very good kill. Um, it could have been probably been a little bit faster, maybe, but I don't think that was like a, probably a perfect kill, even. Um, I, it probably could have saved 10 seconds if we didn't repair a fourth statue, honestly. But um, overall, um, it doesn't even matter because well, cause each statue is 75 points as well. So there you go. Um, so again, uh, if you're falling, if if you're if you're ever falling behind, like oh, I don't have time to deliver the fourth one. Uh, just uh, both of you repair a third statue, and then pray. Go to the core, uh, and whoever has the materials, deliver it to here for an easy, uh, how many points would it be? 60 points for delivering 15 materials. And uh, this one guy go and pray at each statue. And you only need three statues, you don't need a fourth one. And if for some reason something really weird happened where you just didn't proc or something weird happened, um, just uh, repair the, f uh, the last one and go middle uh, as soon as the mechanic ends. Um, that, again, if you're not best in slot and everything and stuff, uh, you can actually um, let that middle mechanic happen again. Because the middle mechanic again gives like about like 100 points plus to each person. It depends on how long you've been doing the mechanic for. So on average, it's probably like, like, like 80 to 120 plus points um, for that mid mechanic. So if you're a bit slower, um, you can go poison, you know, you poison them all, poison, poison everything. And then, uh, whatchamacallit. And then let the mid mechanic happen. You probably have to wait a little bit. Uh, do the mid mechanic, and then pray at all four, and you know, or yeah, because you can have four, all four repaired. So again, like, it happens pretty much every uh, two twenty-five or tw two, uh, yeah, two twenty-five uh, intervals. That mid mechanic. So again, if, if you're if you're going if you're taking a bit longer and you need to do another mechanic, your kill's gonna be twelve minutes instead of like nine thirty uh, kills, which is fine. The points is still. The highest points, even if you aren't as fast as us, but, you know you don't have the wood cutting thing, you don't have all the stuff. It also means that you can focus on just like clearing the node, going to next, clearing the node, go and then um, like taking your time, you know, getting the ten, uh, 
fungus on each and both of you can do two each but this is kind of like speed kills and stuff which is really efficient um and uh demonstrate another thing uh which we'll call it I, I, another reason why I gather so much here is because the woodcutting offhand gives a 20% chance to get an extra log, which is really strong. And again, um, another important trick is like, oh, let's say I, I got an XP drop right now. You can move right here and, and click, and you'll get another XP drop. I don't know if you guys understand that, but like old school does that a lot with like the whole tick system skilling, uh, like where you start a tick and stuff. So again, that's kind of advanced stuff. Don't worry about it that much. But if you know what I mean, you know what I mean, okay? Um, I honestly think that's really it about the boss. Uh, just there you go. Honestly, like again, don't feel bad if your kills are taking ten. You know, again, like twelve. If you need to do the mid mechanic again, uh, just uh, oh well. Like you, you just means you have longer kills, but the points on average are, are it's still higher. It's slightly less than than this would be, but it's higher than anything else. So have fun with that. Um, there was something else I wanted to say, but I'm trying to remember what I wanted to say. Hmm. I don't know. Ah. Uh, Oh, um, another thing is like, let's say I, uh, the third statue wasn't done and it just did the min mechanic and the third statue is halfway done or you just, just just starting to repair, I would repair it. If if the fungus mechanic happened, which means it's halfway through its rotation, uh, which means it needs to do a whole nother rotation for the min mechanic to happen, I would personally just pray and go because I don't think waiting a whole minute for the min mechanic to happen is worth it in that case. You only want to do it if it's like 20 or 30 seconds from happening. So that's really it. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I also had to go on um, well, my girlfriend's computer because uh, for some reason my graphics card cannot record that boss because it lags like crazy. So kind of a funny video, honestly. Uh, bye.